Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to take a problem on Fourier integral. And depending on the problem, we will try to apply Fourier sine integral or Fourier cosine integral. Okay? So, without wasting much of time, let us see what this problem says. This problem says using Fourier integral show that this is equal to this. Okay? So, as you can see in this uh, result that we wanted to show, there is an involvement of sign. Okay? Meaning thereby, this problem is can be solved with the help of sign integral. Fourier sign integral to be precise. Okay? So, let us start with this. So, we are going to start with the given. So, what is my f of x? Let f of x is equal to, what is my f of x? This one. My f of x is pi by 2 sin x 0 less than equal to x less than equal to pi and 0 for x greater than pi. Okay, this is my f of x and as you can see the result that we wanted to prove involves sine. So this is a problem of Fourier sine integral. So let us take on taking Fourier, on taking Fourier sine integral, Fourier sine integral on both sides, or uh, you can write off f of x, we get. Okay, so we just have to take the Fourier sine integral of f of x, so you'll be getting f of x is equal to what we have to take Fourier sine integral, right? So this is nothing but, so this is nothing but, what is it? Uh, integration 0 to infinity sine lambda x, sine lambda x in bracket, integral 0 to infinity f of t into sin lambda t dt into d lambda. Simple. Now, you can just, uh, yes, one, one thing we have just left out, that is uh, the value 2 by pi. So, this is 2 by pi, correct. f of x is equal. Okay, now, you have this f of x, you can just take uh, f of x is equal to uh, if this is f of x, you can able to write f of t. So just substitute that value. So this is 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity sine lambda x into integral 0 to infinity. What is f of t? Looking at this, you can just uh, break this interval into 0 to pi and pi to infinity. So this is 0 to pi, okay, f of t into sin lambda t dt plus integration pi to infinity f of t into sin lambda t dt d lambda. Now you can just uh, see the given problem. So this is uh, this term will remain as it is. Now integration 0 to pi in the interval 0 to pi we have the value pi by 2 sin t, okay, into sin lambda t dt plus integration pi to infinity. So, pi onwards means greater than pi. We have f of t as 0 into sin lambda t dt d lambda. Now, as you can see, the second uh, integral will leads to 0. So, we just have to solve this integral, okay? Now, what I am going to do here is, I will take this uh, outside. So, this is 2 by pi into pi by 2, okay? Integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x into integral 0 to pi. Pi by 2 I have already taken outside sin 
lambda t into sin t dt. Rest of the thing is 0 into d lambda. Is it okay? Now this gate cancel with this. Simple? No. Just look here. Uh, what you can do is now we have to integrate this and we cannot integrate it easily. So you just have to adjust 2 multiply by 2 and divide by 2 okay and once you uh, do this adjustment what you can do is you can take this 1 by 2 outside and here you can apply the formula of 2 sin a cos b do you remember the formula of this so let me remind you of that formula I am writing here using using 2 sin a cos sorry sin using 2 sin a sin b is equal to what is it do you remember so i want you to pause the video for a few seconds try to recollect the formula and then resume the video so i hope you might have recollected the formula the basic one 2 sin a sin b is 2 sin a sin b is cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b okay so you need to remember this and we are going to apply over here so and um, this is my f of x So this is my f of x. So here, this implies f of x is equal to, what is it? 1 by 2 outside. Integration 0 to infinity. This 1 by 2, this 2 outside. Sine lambda x into integration 0 to pi. Now apply here. What is 2 sin a sin b is this cos of a minus b. So this is cos of what is it a lambda t b t. So you can write lambda minus 1 t. Okay. Minus cos of lambda plus 1 t. Right. Yeah. And this is d lambda dt dt we have missed dt into d lab simple now finding out the integration of this is quite easy elementary integration so you can write this one as f of x is equal to 1 by 2 integration 0 to infinity sine lambda x what is sine lambda x sine lambda x will remain as it is now apply the integration over here so, integration of cos is plus sine. Take a note of it. Plus sine. Lambda minus 1 t. Okay. Divide by the coefficient of t is lambda minus 1. Simple. Minus integration of this cos is again sine. So, this is sine of lambda plus 1 into t divide by the coefficient of t that is lambda plus 1 integration 0 to pi d lambda simple now you just have to apply upper limit minus lower limit so in place of lambda you put 1 once you put uh, pi and once you put 0 0 won't contribute to anything because sine 0 is 0 so we'll uh, remain with this only so 1 by 2 integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x into what about this put t is equal to pi so this would be sin lambda t okay so this is when I substitute pi so this would be lambda pi minus pi upon lambda minus 1 minus this is sin what is this lambda pi plus pi upon lambda plus 1 now again you have to remember the basic results of trigonometry 
I haven't written the lower limit because lower limit will contribute to sine 0 0 okay now I would like to recollect uh, try to recollect the formulas which are like uh, sine pi minus theta and sine pi plus theta okay so don't write this as an exam you can directly use this thing so do you remember the formula of it what is sine pi minus theta sine pi minus theta is sine theta and what is sine pi plus theta is minus of sine theta so you need to remember this okay now now you can do uh, one thing here you can just uh, this is not pi minus theta so to make the to apply this formula i can just take minus sign common from here and you can write 1 by 2 integral 0 to infinity sine lambda x okay as it is and this i can write it as lambda minus 1 now i am writing this as this is sine lambda pi minus pi so this can be written as sine minus sine common pi minus lambda pi okay pi minus theta this is my theta and this sine of sine of minus theta is minus sine of theta simple okay so i am going to make use of this and writing it as minus of minus of pi minus lambda pi okay so minus of sine pi minus lambda pi okay now let me rub this thing minus there is no need to adjust anything here so this is pi plus lambda pi upon lambda plus 1 d lambda okay now you can use these two results this sine pi minus theta sine pi plus theta or here and you can certainly write these things as 1 by 2 integration 0 to infinity sine lambda x into this can be written as minus as it is what is this sine pi minus theta is sine theta so this is sine lambda pi upon lambda minus 1 this is minus sine pi plus theta is minus sine theta so this minus and this minus up from here and this minus become plus this is sine lambda pi upon lambda plus one now uh, don't uh, be over excited and uh, don't cancel this minus sine lambda pi and plus sine lambda pi it will give us zero otherwise okay here the uh, denominator is not same so you just have to take the uh, what you just have to take the lcm right sine lambda pi plus sine lambda pi upon this so you can just uh, take sine lambda pi common sorry i just forget to write d lambda so this is 1 by 2 integration 0 to infinity sine lambda x and I can take uh, this common from here so into sine lambda pi common and in the bracket I am remain with uh, minus 1 upon lambda minus 1 plus 1 upon lambda plus 1 now you can just take the LCM of this Now, the moment you take this uh, LCM from here, you will be getting f of x is equal to 1 by 2. What is it? Integration 0 to infinity sine sin lambda x into sine lambda pi or pi lambda you can write. No, nothing to worry about. Here, while taking LCM, this is uh, minus lambda minus 1. This is plus lambda minus 1 okay and this is lambda plus 1 lambda minus 1 so this is 1 minus lambda square okay 
is that this is lambda square minus 1 sorry this is lambda square minus 1 d lambda okay now this get cancelled with this so we remain with uh, 1 by 2 integration 0 to infinity sine lambda x into sine pi lambda now here we are getting minus 2 so this is uh, minus 2 upon lambda square minus 1 d lambda is it so what you can do is give this minus sign to this in the next step i can write so this is like 1 by 2 integration 0 to infinity now this 2 get cancelled with this 2 so no need to write this uh, you can write is equal to sine lambda x into sine pi lambda and this minus sign you give to this so this would be plus 1 minus lambda square so plus 1 minus lambda square d lambda and this is my f of x and this is the result that we wanted to prove simple you just need to write it nicely that is that is integration 0 to infinity sine lambda x into sine pi lambda upon 1 minus lambda square d lambda is equal to f of x what is my f of x in the beginning itself we have written the f of x this is pi by 2 into sin x for x varying from 0 to pi and its value is 0 for x taking the values greater than pi hence proved so i hope this uh, problem is clear to you you just uh, need to take care of the things that we are using that is the first one is the um, basic formula of trigonometric that is 2 sin a sin b the second one is uh, uh, pi angle formulae that is uh, sine pi minus theta and sine pi plus theta if you remember this thing you can easily solve this problem there is nothing as such so i hope this is uh, gettable to you so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day thank you